Hello friends and welcome to the biomechanics of sacroiliac joint. Sacroiliac joint is the connection between spine and pelvis and is an important joint for the transmission of forces from upper body to lower body. It is a diarthroidal joint. Its articular surfaces are U-shaped containing irregular depressions. The articular surface of sacrum is concave and the articular surface of the ilium is convex. The sacrum is an L-shaped structure held in place by the tension in adjoining connective tissues, contractile or non-contractile. The anterior SI ligament is a thickening of anterior and inferior parts of the capsule and it runs horizontally. The drosius ligament is a strong ligament located posteriorly along the posterior and superior margin of the joint. This ligament is a strong connection between sacrum and ilium. The short ligaments originate from posterolateral side of the sacrum and runs superiorly and laterally and insert at the iliac tuberosity and PSIS. The long ligaments originates from third and fourth sacral segments and get inserted onto PSIS. These ligaments to some extent limits nutation of sacrum. The sacrotuberous ligament originates from PSIS, lateral sacrum and coccyx and inserts at the ischial tuberosity. Although this ligament does not have any direct action on the sacrum but its extensive tensile strength limits nutation of sacrum. And let me tell you, sacrotuberous ligament is one of the strongest ligaments of the body. Sacrospinous ligament runs deep to sacrotuberous ligament arising from the lateral margin of the caudal end of sacrum and coccyx and it inserts over the ischial spine. The iliolumbar ligament is ideally vertebro-pelvic ligament with three bands. The bands arises from the body and tip of the transverse processes of L4 and L5 vertebra and continues deep uh, till the anterior lip of the iliac crest. It resists the movement of lumbar and SI joints. Majorly two movements are available at the SI joint. Nutation when the sacral base moves anteriorly with respect to the pelvic cage and counter-nutation when the sacral base moves posteriorly with respect to the fixed pelvic cage. The example of which you can see in this video when nutation happens like this. And counter nutation happens somewhat like this. The osteokinematics of SI joint suggest that there are mainly two movements observed in SI joint nutation and counter nutation. The total motion occurs in a range of 0.2 to 2 degrees and an active translation of about 1 to 2 millimeter. The passive excursion is about 7 to 8 degrees during extremes of bilateral hip motion. So here you can see 
that SI joint is a joint of stability. It's not a joint of mobility. So very less amount of movement is available at SI joint. The stress relief mechanism occurs in walking like this and during childbirth like this. Movement at the SI joint allows some amount of stress relief within the pelvic ring. While walking, alternative movements of the leg occurs and thus alternative nutation and counter nutation also occur at the SI joint. This generate tension in hip muscles and ligaments to generate oppositely directed torsions on the right and left iliac crest. These torsions increases with increase in walking speed. These torsions eventually help to dissipate damaging forces developed during walking. During childbirth, increased nutation during childbirth rotates the lower part of the sacrum posteriorly, thus increasing the size of the pelvic outlet. Next is the action of stability. As the mechanical axis and the line of gravity passes anterior to the base of sacrum, gravity imposes a superiorly directed compressive force transmitted from the femoral head to the acetabula in the response to the weight falling from above. It generates a nutation torque and thus causes nutation at sacrum. The nutation so caused generates tension within the introsious ligament and causes the sacrotuberous ligament to stretch. These oppositely directed forces by the non-contractile connective tissue leads to stability of SI joint. In addition to ligaments, various hip and trunk muscles also stabilizes the SI joint. The action of these muscles is based on generating active compressive force against the articular surfaces, increasing magnitude of nutation torque and locking the sacrum, pulling the connective tissue that reinforces the joint. The muscles which are involved constitutes erector spinae, lumbar multifidus, abdominals like abdominal obliques, erectus abdominis, transverse abdominis, and hamstring muscles. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to us. Stay home, be safe, and fight Corona.